Joe Rogan puts his mega donor George Soros on blast, not his mega donor, for his crime ridden agenda. I had a conversation with the governor of Texas about him, but mm -hmm. with Greg Abbott, where mm -hmm. he was explaining to me what George Soros does. And it's <laughs> terrifying that he donates money to a very progressive, very leftist, uh, whether it's a DA or whatever politician, and then funds someone who's even further left than them to go against them. It seems like he funds corrosion. It's like he wants these cities to fall apart. He, he wants crime to flourish. It's, yeah. it's almost like he's an evil person in a Batman movie. <laughs> it is, and we're in the movie. <laughs> Joining us now, Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Will Kane. We can't understand why he would fund these progressive movements. Why do you think that is? He's the number one Democratic donor, right, right above Sam Bankman-Fried. Yeah, Ainsley, you asked the toughest question right off the bat, right out of the gates. You asked the toughest question. What's his motivation? You know, first, let me say, it's, isn't it interesting? It's always a little bit frustrating when it seems like, and I don't mean this as a shot, but when it seems like a guy at Joe Rogan arrives at the party about two hours late, like we have been talking about George Soros, you should know about the power and the influence of George Soros. But at the same time, you're happy that you finally arrived at the party. We're glad you're here, Joe. Um, it's, a, it's an important party to attend. So I'm a little frustrated, as always is the case, when it kind of finally breaks through the zeitgeist, but happy that it has broken through, because I think Joe Rogan does represent sort of the zeitgeist of American popular culture. Happy that it has finally broken through, that there is some, inf some reflection on the influence of George Soros. To your question, Ainsley, that is the great question. What is George Soros' ultimate motivation? Why seed growing crime? Why seed chaos? Why seed corruption? And I don't know with any certainty because I can't climb inside the, mind's, the man's mind. And he, I don't think that he's published anything that fully lays out his, his vision of America. But my, my guess is, Ainsley, is through the path of chaos, you find control. At some point, if everyone has to live in a state of confusion and chaos, then at some point those that have helped organize society can exert their control over society. And Brian, this is why we talked extensively about Will Kane on your radio program, because he can use phrases like zeitgeist, right. uh, and you and I can't. Yeah, we have to look him up well, uh, it, while well, he's speaking. Are you aware of this conversation, Will? Yes, it's really great radio. Bravo to the Brian Kilmeade right. show. I mean, num America's number one trending topic, Will Kane. Uh, <laughs> but no, it was really funny to watch those guys go back and forth. Hey, look, here's the deal, Pete. I have a question for you. Yeah. You know what zeitgeist means at Harvard and Princeton. Kind of. Um, explain to me, give me another word for it. I don't want to use zeitgeist, but tell me, give me a replacement word for zeitgeist that's mo more a synonym common parlance. for zeitgeist? Mm -hmm. um, he, he's, yeah, thank you. He shares a brain with the American people. He, is, uh, he has a pulse on kind of, because you're right, he is, behind, he is behind the curve. We're glad he's there. Yeah. But I think he thinks like yes. most people. He's not thinking in politics and political terms all the time. He's not worried about who's Ever. the boogeyman yeah. behind the curtain. But then once it's revealed, you yes. can't unsee it. And I think that's what makes it special about what he's talking about. Right. Uh, and yeah, hey, I, that's, and by that's the way, what, the, to, sadly, George Soros has kids, uh, and they believe like he believes. So we can't just oh, wait really? for him to move on to another planet. Yeah. Um, as would be expected, uh, yeah. Pete put it in simple terms. Great job, man. That's 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 how you communicate. Um, but you're absolutely thinker. right you uh, about you, you're absolutely right about about um, about Joe Rogan's role. Uh, I you know Pete and I we've gone off the wall on George Soros. You hope that people understand George Soros. When I travel, by the way, I live in Dallas. You guys know that. Do you know what guys talk about? They talk about it's crazy how much crime is a part of your life. Talked about the Taqueria shooting in Houston. Talked about this attempted carjacking right down the road to the shopping center where I live. Um, it, it, is, it is really a part of people's lives. By the way, coming up on Fox & Friends this weekend, the reason Rachel's not here, she's doing a featured Friends promo package with Jack Brewer on inmates getting a second lease on life. We nice. also have Dan Bongino, Stuart Varney, John Ratcliffe, Monica Crowley. You don't want to miss Fox & Friends Saturday and Sunday. Did his homework. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.